Manakam Namaste and welcome to Dr. Shah's clinic. In yet another video, they are going to answer the question, how to collect a semen sample. Now, some of my patients when they come to, come to, come to my clinical practice have the doubt on how to exactly collect a semen sample. Are there any specific steps to be followed? Any precautions to be borne in mind while collecting a semen sample? So, uh, when you are planning to collect a semen sample, I would strongly, strongly recommend you to go to a well-validated, well-certified andrology laboratory that is situated inside preferably a male fertility clinic or at least a fertility clinic. Now, the reason I am telling you why you have to go to a fertility clinic with an attached andrology laboratory to collect a semen sample is that uh, these clinics usually, you know, <clears throat> employ qualified laboratory andrologists or qualified clinical embryologists who can give you an accurate report. And in our clinic, what we basically do for all our patients is when, we, when patients come to our clinic to collect a semen sample, to keep transparency as one of the top priorities in our clinic, what we do is we actually take the patient inside the lab and actually show them, you know, their sperm parameters under the microscope. So we have this habit, we have been doing this for a very, very long time. Now, let's come to the question, how to collect a semen sample. And the first important point to bear in mind is, all semen samples are usually ideally collected, you know, in the laboratory setting, inside the andrology laboratory, in a place called the semen collection room, also called as SCR. So a good male fertility clinic will have a separate area and a separate space, which will make you feel comfortable for actually collecting the semen, uh, semen uh, for collecting the semen. So the sample is collected by a method of uh, sexual stimulation called as masturbation. That's the, that's the next important uh, step or tip to bear in mind. So you have to collect the semen sample by masturbation, which is, a, which is nothing but sexual self-stimulation. Now the, important, the third important point to bear in mind while collecting a semen sample is, is to remember that you need a one day abstinence period. So what is abstinence? Abstinence is basically the time interval or the gap that you give between sexual intercourse with your partner as well as collecting a semen sample. Now although the WHO or the World Health Organization recommends a 2-7 to seven day abstinence window, we strongly believe from our own clinical data, in fact our study was one, we published a very large scale study on the effect of ejaculatory abstinence on seminal parameters. I have linked to our publication below. Our study was done on almost over 3000 men. And what we feel and also what the recent literature suggests that a one day abstinence is usually more than adequate. So even if you had, even if you have, if you have had sexual intercourse the previous day night and next day you are coming to the semen, uh, coming to the semen analysis laboratory, we will recommend you to collect the sample and that's usually best. The best of semen parameters are usually seen with shorter periods of abstinence. So please bear this in mind. Uh, the next important tip to bear in mind is when you go to the laboratory, you know, to collect a semen sample, you will, give, you will be given what's called as a wide-mouthed container. You know, this is a sterile, gamete-friendly, non-toxic, wide-mouthed container. Now, these specialized containers are available in andrology laboratories. You have to collect the sample completely without spilling the sample. So, what's very important is the first ejaculate or the first portion of the sample is the sperm-rich fraction. If you spill that while collecting the sample, what's going to happen? You're going to get completely erroneous values, wrong values. So, remember, when you collect the sample, ask them for a wide-mouthed container and collect the complete sample without spillage into the container. The next important point to bear in mind is when the lab gives you the container, ensure that your name, the date, your age, your patient ID and the roughly the time of collection is already written over here. So this is a patient markup data. If this markup data is not there and if the lab is very busy, there's a high risk of samples getting mixed up and we have seen this in our clinical experience. You know, in certain places where I worked, I'm not taking their names, sample mixed up have actually occurred. So please remember that, you know, the, the container is labeled accurately before, uh, you know, taking the container for a uh, semen collection. The next important point to bear in mind while collecting a semen sample is to use dry hands. Remember, if you use lubricants, if you use coconut oil, if you use soaps, it will mix with the semen sample and you're going to get a very, very wrong value because any of all of these substances technically can impact sperm motility and you don't want that. So use dry hands while collecting the semen sample. The next important point to bear in mind while collecting a semen sample is that as soon as you contain uh, you know a semen sample, wrap up the sample you know with a tissue paper. You know you can use a tissue paper, just wrap it up and you know keep keep it uh, and you know keep it on the table, which is which which should be ideally you know adjacent to the andrology laboratory where the processing is going to take place. And you have to inform the laboratory technician on the other side. So immediately they will come, take the sample and they will keep it for liquefaction in a device called as the incubator. So I've shown a photo of the incubator on the right hand side of the screen. So sample, you know, when the semen is ejaculated, it actually forms a coagulum. 
and then it liquefies. So you have to give a 20 minute window for the sample to liquefy. Only then is the actual assessment of sperm parameters done. So you may ensure that you know kind of immediately give the sample to the laboratory technician or at least inform the technician because sometimes what happens patients tend to collect the semen sample and basically what happens is they're shy they're in difficult situations so they just keep the container and walk out and the laboratory technician on the other side who's on the other room will not even know that the sample has been collected and kept inside here and the sample will be lying there for about 20 minutes 30 minutes 40 minutes and again you will get wrong values this is also seen we have also seen this in our clinical experience in busy laboratories so you'll get very low values of motility and you'll be taking treatment for low sperm motility when you actually did not have low sperm motility. so always remember to once you collect the sample in the androgy you inform the technician who is probably in the next room a good laboratory will have the semen collection room with the androgy laboratory adjacent to one another so it will be very easy you just have to inform the technician and the technician will come and pick up the sample and take it for analysis so when a semen analysis is done normally you will get semen volume estimates you'll get a ph estimate you'll get a count motility morphology and you know a few other parameters in your uh, report so normal semen volume should be 1.3 to 1.7 ml normal sperm count will be about 15 million per ml the motility will be about 32 percent and the normal uh, morphologically normal forms under the microscope is about three percent so I hope you enjoyed this video on how to collect a semen sample. I hope this video, you know, kind of gives you, gave you adequate information on, you know, the semen collection process and the methodologies and small, small tips, you know, that will help you, you know, kind of, uh, uh, you know, you know, kind of collect a semen sample with these. And please like, comment and subscribe. Kindly share this video with all your friends and loved ones. This is Dr. Shah. I'll see you back soon with another video. Bye.